Good morning. It is day 153 and it is raining today. This morning we actually woke up to lightning and thunder in the tent. We just laid there and rolled around, waited for it to pass, which it did around six o'clock or so, which is nice. So we packed up real fast and got out of the tent. It was just lightly sprinkling. We had all of our rain gear on, like rain pants and rain jackets and everything, but it's like 60 degrees right now. So as soon as we start going up this mountain, we are all like dying. So we stripped and now we're wearing our shorts and our uh, fishing shirts. So <laughs> we're completely drenched. The rain just started coming down like crazy. It was raining cats and dogs. Oh yeah, we can't really pull off the camera when it rains hard because touch screens don't work when your hands are all um, all wet and the phone is all wet. Rain Vermont! <laughs> Welcome to Vermont! Vermont! Vermont Dance Harvey! Vermont! Number 12! All right, let's get going. The entire trail is just creeks now. It's all this crazy rain that came in. <laughs> Today was a hard day, or is a hard day. Um, whenever it rains hard, we got so cold when we got to, there was a shelter about halfway, and we got to that shelter, and we stopped for a second to eat some lunch, and we were freezing, freezing our butts off. So now we got all our rain gear back on, trying to get up this wet mess pretty much just like walking in a creek all day um and then on and off you know torrential downpours but that's okay you know it's only one bad day right you can do anything for one day check out another beautiful beaver dam So Vermont has really lived up to their name with uh, Vermud, as you can see here. Nothing but mud everywhere. And we get to step through it, step over it, step around it. But at the end of the day, you will get muddy in Vermont. We're having fun though. Good morning, it is day 155. And yesterday we uh, made a quick decision to go into Bennington because Blueberry was getting off. We got a quick hotel and had a goodbye dinner with Blueberry. So my name is Steven, but I go by Blueberry on the trail. What's it like start uh, hiking with Harvey? We've gone to New York. We've had ice cream. We've had baseball games, imaginary baseball games. We have had loads of fun, like things that I wouldn't have imagined I'd do if I wasn't hiking with Harvey. Hiking, I can tell you, this boy, Harvey, has more energy than any of us. When we arrive at camp, he's ready to go, running through camp, wanting to play games with everybody. Um, he has more energy than any of us. Blueberry, good luck with your hike and we hope to see you again. There was a trail angel there, Steve, and he brought his granddaughter out and Harvey and her just played and they had ice cream. And then um, the boys actually surprised me by going to get their hair cut. Okay, so we went into Bennington to resupply and we left mom to do some editing and guess what? Me and Harvey got a haircut. You think mom's gonna recognize us? No. Uh, I don't know, we'll see what she says. Hopefully she'll be happy with it, huh? Yeah, man. They all look so clean cut, it was really funny. I was like, oh my gosh, they look so, so good. So today, since we stopped there a little short of what we were planning on doing, we have So Harvey just got a water gun in Bennington and Josh just filled ah, it up. My water's cold! Ah. Harvey, what did we find? A tower. It's so cold. You could see kind of everywhere. For everywhere. It's really windy in the fire tower. 
So we just found some new poop. We're trying to wonder, is this moose poop? Do they poop like deer or do they poop like horses? Let us know in the comments. Good morning, everybody. Today is day 156. We are planning on going 10 miles today. No, 15 miles today to a shelter that you have to actually pay $5 to sleep at the shelter. Apparently there's a caretaker there that keeps the privy clean. And we're also passing Staten Mountain, which I think is a ski resort. So that should be pretty cool. So we should have some good views and it should be a fun day in Vermont. Where are you going, Harvey? To the top. To the top of what? Look. Look. What? It's like over layer. Over there too? Oh my goodness. That's a nice shot. Is this tower scary? Yes. Oh, we're so far down. Okay, what should we do? Should we step here forever or should we go down? Down. Okay. So the shelter we're going to, uh, we've been told fits about 16 people and apparently there's going to be a ton of people there today. So we're actually trying to race there a little bit so that we can secure a spot because we've hiked 15 miles already and the next camping isn't for like another 0.6 or so and it's off trail. So that would just add a whole extra mile and a bit to our next day. Good morning, everybody. Today is day 100 and uh, I guess it's 157, which is pretty awesome. So anyhow, last night we stayed at There's actually Stratton Pond, which just below. Look at the snake right there. Oh, he wants to come out. Me and Sugar Man went for a good swim. It was a little chilly because it was a cold day. Uh, Cassie and Harvey had their coats on, <laughs> but the water wasn't too bad. We had dinner there. The views were just gorgeous. It was probably one of the prettiest lake views we've seen so far. Harvey, what are you guys doing? Today we are going to try um, to head down the trail. We might go into town to resupply, so we're still trying to figure that out. So we'll let you know. three-fourths of our 2,200 mile trip? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's super exciting. So exciting. So Good morning, everybody. This is day 158. Uh, yesterday we made it to Manchester Center and we took a little bit of a short day. We only went like 10 or 11 miles. We were able to get to resupply, which is fantastic to go to a proper grocery store. Also went to a trail outfitter um, and then went to an ice cream shop. We had a really good time at Manchester Center. It's a pretty area. And then we got to stay at the Green Mountain Hiker Hostel. It's a very clean place, really nice. Uh, we had a great time. <laughs> got to watch a movie last night, this morning. They let you make your own eggs and pancakes so we did all that and it was really great and they shuttled us back to the trail so now we're hiking again so we're gonna head out today i think we're gonna do a pretty big day 15 miles and we get a lot of elevation we walked up a ski slope to get to a ski resort with a ski lift and on the chair was really skinny but we didn't ride it
Harvey! What? So you just got to the top of Baker Peak. What do you think? Awesome. Good view? Yeah, it's an awesome view. It's cool to see where we came from. Like over there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You okay, Sugar Man? Oh, I'm so cool. <laughs> What? Did you pack out honey buns and a Dr. Pepper? Clean it. Yeah. Honey buns were the favorite. They're pretty good. You wrote me a card. I love you a million times. You love me a million times? Yeah, but look, I flipped in the floor. Oh, thank you, Harvey. Can I hug? Thank you, buddy. I love you. Good morning. Today is day 159. And today we are headed about 15 miles. It's supposed to be nice and sunny today, so we're kind of excited about that. And there's some trail magic in about three miles, but we might be getting there a little bit too early. So we'll just keep walking and see. Hi, sir. Who's Hi, your friend? Fox. Hi. Hi. Little man and I have been hanging out this last couple of days. Yeah, you've been having a lot of fun with Dirt Fox, haven't you? Yeah. What yeah. all have we done? You helped me set up my tent. Yeah. Yeah, you helped me filter water. Yeah. Yeah, and we had a dance party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, got to keep going, Harvey. So awesome, we came out of the woods and um, they actually came early. So uh, Steve and Moose came and got us some awesome. Thank you, Steve. Lollipop. You're very welcome. Lollipop. Thank you, S Moose. Lollipop. We haven't seen Moose since Damascus, so it's cool that a thousand miles later he comes up here and does trail magic for us for the second time. <laughs> lollipop, lollipop. And Harvey's got a lollipop. Okay, Harvey, we got Mr. Frog here. Hey, I found. No, no, no. Him. let's go scare mommy, okay? Mommy. Daddy wants ah! <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> All right, there you go. Hold it gently. So, we just found this gorgeous lake. Sugar Man has already gotten in the water. And we got 15 miles to do today. Cassie, do you have enough time to go swimming? No, but we're going to go anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're going to get to camp late, but we're going swimming. Ready, Harvey? From a whale. Good job. Pine cone fight! Pine cone fight! Uh, uh, uh. Die! Come on! So we're walking in this awesome pine forest and we come into this beautiful rock garden. Take a look. All right, Harvey, go in. So there's something we haven't talked about much is once we enter Vermont, we actually, uh, the AT, starts out with the long trail which is the vermont long trail which goes from the bottom of vermont all the way up to canada which is pretty cool so we get to meet a whole bunch of new folks um that we keep hiking with they're all long trail or people that just started out um the first hundred miles of the long trail is tied with the at then we continue east and go through new hampshire all the way up into maine and if we don't miss the turn there'll still be white blazes and we'll continue north all the way to Canada in Vermont. So we're going to make sure we make that turn. That is the most important turn on the whole entire Appalachian Trail. So uh, I think the long trail is something like 270 miles or something. So if we miss that turn, we'll end up in Canada in 100 and some miles. If we go the correct way, Maine. So we just saw about 40 nude people. Yep, that's right. Naked people. Uh, it is the 20th and summer solstice is tonight at 11 and so apparently you walk and hike naked on summer solstice so they're actually doing it today and tomorrow uh, to bring in the new summer 
which is kind of interesting. Uh, it was a little awkward with a five-year-old. We all just looked at their eyes and laughed about it later, but yeah, it was a good welcome to Vermont and Vermont's culture. <laughs> Harvey, right, what does that sign say? I can't read it. <gasps> That's our shelter. I see it. Shelter? Shelter, 200 feet. Good morning, everybody. Today is day 160. Woohoo! We're actually gonna to try to head into Rutland today. And in Rutland, oh, we can do a real quick resupply. So we're excited. Today's not too difficult. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a shorter day. So we're excited about that. And uh, my knees need it because they are banged up. All this steep downhill we've been doing lately is really um, eating my knees. So I'm excited to take a little bit of a shorter day and let them rest. All right, so we caught up to Dirty Dan, and he had a fun story last night. Yeah, so a bear came through here at Claridon Shelter, and it got up to my food up in the tree, and I just sat back here and just watched it eat it. We were all clapping, yelling for it to go away, but it was too aggressive. It wouldn't go. Make sure you hang your bear bags, kids. Oh. 